All right guys, Matt back here again with TNM product reviews. Um, in this series, eh, not really series, maybe two videos at most. Um, we'll be talking about my chest rig. So uh, in previous videos, I did a review on uh, my battle belt or my range belt, my war belt, whatever you want to call it. Um, and to go along with that, I have a chest rig for when I'm running my AR at the range. Um, this is a chest rig designed by the Mercenary Company. Um, and I'll put a link in the description for them. So let me get this thing off. Um, just wanted to kind of give you an overview of so how it fits. Now, this is just the rig itself. This is a separate pouch that I purchased that does is compatible with it. And I'll explain that as we go along. Uh, it's kind of, I guess they call it a Joey pouch. Um, but I'll get the information for that as well. And we'll go over all of this in one video. All right, guys, I'll be right back with you. Let me get the table set up. All right, guys, so like I said, we're going to go over my chest rig and the uh, drop pouch or Joey pouch, whatever you want to consider it. Um, so I'm going to take it off and get it out of the way here. And then we're going to go over the chest rig first. So we'll set that off to the side for right now. So the chest rig itself which is just this part, and then the, obviously the harness for it. Um, like I said, it's from a company called the Mercenary Company. Um, they do military-based comms, and that's like their big thing is, is comm connections, uh, or communication connections with headsets, push-to-talks, push radio connectors, things like that. They also have some other gear though. Um, so this here is their 223 um, chest rig. So the rig itself, just to go over just the basics of it, it holds four 223 556 um, 30 round mags. Uh, it holds two pistol mags in the front. It's got a two universal flip, or flat pouches. And I'll show you those here then. And then it's got a universal, I call it a stuff pouch. Um, tourniquet, suppressor, things like that can fit in there. Um, and it has the shock cord, the kangaroo straps for on each of the mags, even on the pistol mags it has them. Um, it can be worn as a standalone system, uh, clipped into a molly vest. So the nice part about this one is it does have the, what I call quickie clips. So if you have one of the chest rigs that has the, or a, um, a vest. So if you have a vest that has these female clips are already on it you can snap this in velcro it down and then your rig's ready to go it's already set up the way you want it um, 600d nylon construction and then it has the detachable suspenders like i said uh, it also has pals webbing right here in the shoulder straps at the front so you can hook on let me come around the table here and i can show you these a little closer right here so just a couple on both shoulders. So you can hook on like your um, radio mics, you can hook on your push to talk buttons, things like that. So for the rig itself, um, like I said, it takes four 556 223 mags. So they have these kangaroo flaps or straps or elastic straps, whatever you want to call them. And the pouches are not molded. There's no Kydex inserts, but I do believe these will fit the uh, kydex or polymer inserts you can put them down in and they will catch so that way they hold their shape it's a little, a little easier to get your mags in and out then um, and they have a couple different variations of this rig they do have a 308 heavy rig um, and then they have a standard rig as well and let me grab hold on one second let me grab my multi tool here So, um, standard double stack pistol mags. These will fit your standard Glock mags in the front here. There's two of them. And then on each side, you have these little universal pouches that have a flap with the Velcro. Um, so I have a Leatherman 
OTF and this pouch actually fits perfectly that Leatherman multi-tool and I'll bring the camera closer here in just a minute um, what I was actually using the second pouch for was flashlights so I could have um, a high power light um, in this case I'm just throwing my i5T in there and then an i3T and yet again pouch is right or pouch fits perfect so bring this closer here so you guys can see and then uh, what I actually was running in here I have an S2R2 from Olight that I had in there and then I had this i3T in with it so then you have a, a strong flashlight and then you have a little bit this one actually the battery's on the charger uh, you have a little bit smaller flashlight as well and then like I said on this side I'm running the Leatherman OHT even though it's an OF uh, yeah I guess they classified as the OHT it's the one-handed I call it a out the top but it fits perfect then I added just a little PVC pouch there or flag um, but like I said the rig itself all of these straps are removable so they have two for the top of the shoulder strap two for the side this is all the shoulder strap right here and then it actually has a waist strap as well um, and all of these can be removed and then the back construction is the is an H instead of the X format it runs it as an H uh, if anybody knows what that means instead of having the, the bars crisscross in the back they have a connector in the back and it does have a velcro pouch on it so if you want to put an identifying patch on there you can um, and then this one it comes with a cover on the back here and all you do tear it off if you have a um, a vest that has a velcro panel on the front and has these female quick clips on it you can clip that in slap this vest right down on the velcro and it'll hook on and then what I did and I'll bring my pouch back out here is I purchased this forgot this uh, little pouch and it's just a real cheap pouch I found on Amazon but it has velcro on it as well that matches up nice with that and then this panel still actually fits on it so the chest rig itself here is going to run $99 um, it is a $99.99 from the mercenary company like I said I'll link their website in the description below um, I've, I've worn it a few times when I was out on the range shooting my AR uh, it it performs as expected it's um, because those pouches don't have any inserts in them they are a kind of a pain honestly to get the mags in and out but once you have it loaded completely up obviously I don't have everything in that one um, it, it's a little easier because everything kind of fits in its place I am going to eventually get the kydex inserts for the uh, for the, the AR mag pouches and see if they'll fit in there and if they will I'll give an update video on it so along with that chest rig, like I said, I run this. Um, this is, like I said, it's a cheap pouch I got on, or I found on Amazon. Um, I can't even pronounce the name of the company that makes it, but it's it's $17. Okay, so it's nothing special. It's, it's super, super cheap. Uh, I believe it's actually made for Airsoft. Um, hate me if you want, I don't care. Uh, cheaper is better a lot of the times. Not saying it's going to last forever, but if I'm not building something where I'm going overseas with it, which obviously I'm not, um, I don't need to spend a ton of money on it as long as it's reliable. And the reason I picked this one specifically, even though it's only $17, is it's still made out of 600D nylon. So it's still got that, that rugged nylon that everybody uses nowadays. Um, just some general information on it. I'm sorry, it's not 600, it's 500D. 500D nylon, anti-tear. Um, 7.8 by 4.7 by 2.7 is your dimensions on it. Uh, the hook and loop panel to attach to a vest or a chest rig. Um, 
And apparently there's supposed to be a small hook and loop panel in the front, but mine didn't come with that, so. And then, pocket-wise, there's two pockets. So you got this little one in the front, which is a little flat pouch. You can stick like a uh, pen, pencil, notebook, something like that in there. Something thin that's not gonna protrude out. And then it has a main pouch that opens up. And it's kind of so you can, if this is mounted right here, you know, if I'm wearing it on my chest rig, it's gonna sit right about here, I can root through this. Um, and right now I just have a couple things in here. So I have a couple of these uh, neck garters or, or SA Co shields, face shields. A um, couple packages of roll gauze. Another uh, Z-fold flat compress gauze that go along with my belt. Some Ranger bands. Uh, let's see, I got a 4x4 and a 2x2 gauze. Some extra batteries. Uh, so there's a uh, four AAA batteries, which go with that i3T. If I don't, if my rechargeable battery dies, I have some backups. And then also there is an 18650 in there that goes with the S2R2 baton from Olight, which I'll do a review on here, uh, hopefully in a couple days. Um, some basic band aids, a bandana, some more duct tape couple emergency blankets and the strap to my sunglasses are in there I, for my Wiley X the, the strap that keeps from falling off your head so is there a lot of stuff in there that I need right now no honestly there's not um, usually I will have a notebook and pen and pencil in here as well for writing stuff down uh, that way if I need to take notes while I'm out on the range, if something doesn't seem right or something breaks and I need to make a note that I need to fix it. Um, if we're doing, if we happen to go out for work and somebody brings out one of their long range rifles, we want to jot some notes down about the, the rifle we can, things like that. So I don't really have a lot in here right now that's, that's purposeful, more med stuff. Um, you would think I'm a medic, I'm not, I'm, I'm, not. I'm really not. But I do have enough stuff that if somebody was to get hurt, we have enough guys that are trained as well as myself that we can take care of them. And, well, when you work in my field, we don't hire professional gunners. <laughs> like, we don't hire professional shooters. So, not everybody's the best of shot. Accidents happen. So, we try to stay as prepared as possible. And that's kind of what I, I base this around is you know I'm, I'm wearing this on my own private range and I'm also wearing it with, when I go out on the range to train and qualify at work so it's just a, an extension of that uh, trauma kit that I have on my belt so this I would have this whole setup on if if I uh, if I had my AR out there if I'm not wearing my AR this is usually in the car or if I'm not carrying my AR or not gonna take it and shoot it that day this stuff's usually sitting in the car just in case I bring it out. Uh, if I don't even bring it along, this stuff doesn't come along, so I have that trauma kit and then the med kit in the car itself. Uh, like I said, so this here, um, I don't even know if it has an actual name. Uh, tactical Dump Drop JPC CPC Bag, uh, Vest Pouch, Hook and Loop Multi Cam. It, it's cheap, it's generic. Um, like I said, I can't even pronounce the name of the company. It's like Quenco or something. It's H-U-E-N-C-O. Like I said, I'll drop a link in the description. If you're looking for just a cheap Joey pouch, uh, like I said, it's still the 500, 500D nylon. So it's still decent construction. Um, I don't want to say these are YKK zippers, but they hold up. It's not waterproof. Keep that in mind. It does have two drainage ports at the bottom. Um, the chest rig, like I said, it's from the Mercenary Company. Let me grab it quick here. So the chest rig itself, like I said, it's coming from the Mercenary Company. They are a, a really reliable company. You know, I I happened to order mine at a bad time when there was a shortage in US multicam and they were also doing some fairly big 
orders for some people who may not be allowed to be named kind of division of people so they 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 were kind they told me because i asked them i go you know what what's taking so long on my chest rig and there was two problems there was a shortage in u.s multi-cam stock and then they also had a, a fairly big order for uh the military so um check out their website though like i said they got a lot of products on there most of it is based around uh military comms um i'll pull it up here and just give you an example they said this is their 223 rig runs 99.99 for the multi-cam but if i pull their their information up here um, they do sell some scopes and uh, hydration like the solid water packs um, scopes weapon sights weapon lights they're they're not going to be your shore fires or your your o lights or your trigicons or anything like that um, most of them are i want to say the fire field so they're not name brand lights and stuff their main thing is comms um, so they have all kinds of mounts for helmets so if you have a a fast cut helmet that has the rail system on it they have all the attachments for your different um, earmuffs they even have universal ones that will hook up the walkers so if you have a set of walkers and you still want to run a tactical style helmet they make an adapter for it uh, they make uh, push to talk adapter cables with, for Kenwood and Beofang um, night vision system adapters so they make a lot of stuff like that or they sell at least a lot of stuff like that uh, suppressor covers you can buy your advanced long sleeve combat shirts pretty much anything like that their main thing like I said though is uh, calm wires calm connectors push to talk systems uh, they do have some headphones in there both open and closed connectors for the helmets uh, battery packs night vision stuff for on your helmet so that's their main priority and then they have uh, some extra gear like this and when I seen it I wanted to support a smaller business looks like it is like I said it, it pretty sure it's a military owned small business which is awesome I always try to support anybody I can that's, that's a small business or especially military owned um, so there you have it guys this is my my go through of my chest rig oh I didn't really show you it's the stuff pouch um, when I was going through everything let me bring it back around here real quick so this is this the universal pouch so all it is is just a giant elastic strap and you can pretty much stuff anything you want into it it is pretty much the perfect size for like a 223 can so if you're running an NFA 223 can, you want to take it off, um, shoot your rifle without the can on it, or, or carry a backup cam if you can if you're that lucky to, to be able to, to have multiples. So that's an option there too, or if you're out shooting and uh, your rifle's starting to bug people or you get more people out shooting, sometimes those uh, comps and stuff can get a little loud for your, your buddies that are shooting on your side, you want to throw your can on easy place to stuff it you can also stuff an extra tourniquet in there um i actually have one in there until i moved it over to my med kit that's in my car so just some options there but like i said this is the merce this is my review on the mercenary company's chest rig and then the little cheap drop pouch that i got for it as well i uh, hope you guys like the review if there's any questions that you have any comments you might have about the the chest rig itself Feel free to jump in the comment section there. Give me a like and a subscribe if you like the content you're seeing. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Later.